and welcome to this week's what's for lunch video I hope you guys totally enjoy it I'm just showing you guys a bunch of lunches that I packed for my husband this past week at work and for school he's in school full-time and he works part-time so they're kind of like cold lunches for school and then warm lunches for work that he could like heat up at work but anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video I post a what's for lunch video like this every single Wednesday so you don't want to miss next week's video so make sure you hit that red subscribe button. All right, now let's get on with the video. To get this week started, I thought it would be kind of fun to, you know, start with a unique lunch. So I'm just making my husband a peanut butter, banana, and honey sandwich. I know it kind of sounds funny, but this is one of his favorite go-to lunches that I make him. So I decided to make it for him on this day. All we need to put on For one of Will's sides, I just used the remainder of the banana that I did not use in the sandwich along with some black um, grapes. They kind of look like olives, I know, but they're definitely grapes. And then I'm just giving him two little pickles. They're baby dill pickles. He's been really liking to snack on dill pickles recently. And then I also packed him a bag of these sun chips and that was his lunch for the first day. For this day's lunch, I just made my husband a quesadilla on the stove in the morning and then I just put it in a separate Tupperware container just like that. And then for his side, I just gave him a little bit of sour cream and some of that hot Sadie salsa. He's been really liking that hot Sadie salsa recently and I didn't really know what to pack him for lunch on this day. So I was like, you know, I'll do something totally unique and different than what I normally pack him and make him a quesadilla. He definitely loved it and he was super thankful that I made him something unique. This was turkey sandwich day. I know nothing too special, but for my sandwiches, I always put on two slices of extra sharp cheddar cheese. And what we've been really liking recently is using this Bolt House Ranch instead of using mayo or other condiments. We just really like the extra flavor it gives and it's a little bit healthier too. And then for the turkey, you guys already know I'm using the Columbus brand of turkey. We think it is super delicious. If you guys are new here and you don't know about my love for these heavenly hunks, little oatmeal chocolate squares, I really, really do like them a lot and I've been packing them in my husband's lunch pretty much every day for the past two weeks, but we're almost out so I'm going to have to stop packing them soon. And then I just packed him a bag of sun chips along the side and then I got this big huge tray of some dip and vegetables at Costco, so I'm just giving him some of those vegetables with some of that ranch dip. This day was definitely leftover day. We had some extra chicken Alfredo in the fridge, but unfortunately we did not have the chicken part. We ate all the chicken the night before, but I just gave him some of that Alfredo sauce along with some of that pasta and he just warmed it up when he got to work and it worked out perfect for him. Along the side, I just gave him some of these raspberries. The raspberries have been really delicious in the stores recently. And then also we tried these Parmesan goldfish. We really like them. We've never tried them before, but that was what we packed Will for his lunch on this day. Today was turkey wrap day, so I just have one of these spinach and herb wraps, and I'm just putting two slices of some extra sharp cheddar cheese along with some turkey and ranch, and that's pretty much it.
Again, we're just doing another Heavenly Hunks oatmeal square and then some more of those vegetables and dip. This is the vegetable platter I get from Costco. If you're trying to eat more vegetables and less chips during the day, I highly suggest this. This is kind of what I've been starting to do other than just snacking on chips all day. But here's his lunch. I also gave him some sun chips and that was his little wrap for this day. Will was able to come home for lunch on this day, so I found this garden um, crispy orange chicken at Target, and I thought I would give it a try. I found it on an end capsule. You guys are all going to think I'm crazy. I was running through Target trying to get all my groceries, and this is actually tofu. I did not even realize it was tofu until I started eating it. I don't hardly ever eat tofu. I just don't absolutely love it, but... This honestly did not taste bad at all. We actually kind of enjoyed it, so it was very yummy. We just had it over some rice, and that was our silly lunch for that day. For this day's lunch, I just made Will a salami sandwich. It's just a little bit of Italian dry salami with some mayo on some whole wheat bread. And then you guys already know I'm just giving him some veggies and dip. And then of course, some sun chips. We chose harvest cheddar for that day. And if you guys have never been to C's, I highly suggest it. It's a chocolate place. They give out some pretty delicious chocolates. So I'm giving Will two of those chocolates for that day. And that was his lunch all together. For this day's lunch, I was kind of just wanting to try something new. So I just have a half of an avocado right here. And I'm just going to be smashing it up and adding a little bit of some salt and some lemon juice. I will have the recipe um, to Pinterest linked in my description box below if you want this full recipe yourself. And then I'm just gonna be chopping up two hard boiled eggs. I boiled these in my instant pot just to let you guys know. I just mix that mixture together and then I put it in between two slices of whole wheat bread. This is just a healthier type of egg salad sandwich and Will said that this was super good and worth making again. I just served it alongside of a cheese stick. This is just Colby Jack cheese and a little cutie and a little bit of peanut butter pretzel bites. Will was going into work a little bit later on this day, so I decided to make him a larger brunch type of meal so it would tie him over until dinner time. So I just have about five fried eggs right there, some chocolate milk, and then some salsa to dip the eggs in along with that cutie that I peeled for him, and then some toast with some strawberry jam on it. And that was his brunch that I made him for that day. For the last meal of the week, my husband's been asking me for oatmeal quite a bit recently. So I just made him some microwavable oatmeal and then I'm just putting a little bit of cinnamon on top of that. And then I'm just putting some raspberries and strawberries right on top of that cinnamon and that oatmeal. And then I just plopped the lid on it and then sent it with him in his lunch box. And then he probably ate that about 30 minutes after he got to school on that morning. Just kind of like a fun little brunch for him. That wraps up this video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, hello and welcome. I post a lunchbox video like this every single Wednesday. So I'd love it if you stick around and hit the subscribe button and join our little lunchbox group so you never miss any more of these fun lunchbox videos. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.